Xbox Series S. Uh, let me show you what's going on. Switch you to microscope. And as usual, we have a very uh, dorked up HDMI port. So, this is the uh, typical jobs you're going to run into when you get into this repair. So, these will be the ones that pay the bills. So, you just got to take it apart and get it done. And that's what we're going to do. All right, we have the board out of the housing. And now we need to uh, set up our equipment. So, while I set up my equipment, I will throw our expected temperatures for this job. As always, they are subject to change if the job changes. But I do not anticipate that happening here. All right, switch it back to microscope. Per usual, we'll flood these anchors with low melt. Rub it in real good, get it mixed in there. Okay, we're ready for removal, I believe. I'm not real worried about this port, it's broken, so we can concentrate heat a little bit. We want to be more careful with the installation. These do have hidden joints, but they don't have the plastic uh, glue that the Series X has. But I would not say I would not like call them easy. They're easier to a degree. Nice clean pull. I'm going to add some leaded solder to these anchor points just to make them easier to wick. Now we do some cleanup. Like always, we're just gliding here. We're not scrubbing. This is not a Brillo pad. Just glide. Just enough pressure to get heat on the on the on the uh, wick, and that's all you need. Okay, we're turning up. Oh, 
Okay, I've heard tell that you can use Series X and Series S ports intermixed, or they're basically the same. I did order some Series S specific, but I will be trying Series X at some point on it. Now, I will be heating from above because of the hitting joints. I want to make sure they get flowed in. So we'll do it just like we do Nintendo Switches. Rapid air movement so we don't do any damage to the port. We want to raise the temperature of the board enough to wet solder. We're not necessarily using direct heat. I do kind of want to concentrate on these pins first and then we'll worry about the hidden joints. The rest of the board, trust me, the rest of the board will heat as we're concentrating on these pins. Once I see them wetting, I'm going to go worry about the hidden joints. I am actually moving the nozzle this fast. It is not being fast forwarded. Straighten in over here. Place down. Get a little bit more. I'm not keeping heat anywhere long enough to do damage. Hold it down while the solder dries, and then we'll see how we did. These boards take a tremendous amount of heat, so don't get real concerned about burning something. There are limits, but you'd have to work really hard to, to hit that limit. Okay, now I want to do a nudge test and see if we got our hidden joints. Oh man, that feels rock solid. Excellent. We do need to check our pins. Make sure we manage to solder them down. I probably should have pre tinned this port like I did the uh, PS5 port, but I think we'll be alright. Excellent. Rock solid. Okay, those joints look pretty good. Got pretty good feed through. Rock solid. We know our pins are down solid, so 
Next thing to do will be to clean off the port, uh, clean off everything, clean it out, and then we'll put it back in the housing and give it a test. Okay, and as you can see, we're back up and running. So that's awesome. That'll be it for this repair. Okay, in summary, it's just a simple HDMI port replacement on uh, the Xbox Series S. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's a really, it's a really nice box to work on. It's not too difficult. I mean, you need professional grade equipment to get that HDMI port off, but if you if you're a professional, it's not too difficult to deal with. Uh, I wouldn't try it as somebody with hobbyist equipment. I don't recommend it. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions about the equipment below, they're all in the description below, all Amazon link down there. If you click on any link uh, and buy anything during that session, it doesn't even have to be one of those uh, devices or tools. Uh, a small portion of that will go to supporting the channel. That's really all I had to ask of you, and I appreciate you watching. See you next time.